Previously on Survivor Mission. At the merge feast, Sarah and Maggie successfully swiped the idol clue from Chidi's plate. So either she doesn't care that she had the piece of paper on it, or she just didn't notice. But it turned out to lead to the idol that Jack already had. Maggie and Abby wanted Ohana to stay strong to the final six, but unbeknownst to them, Jack, Sam, and Sarah had already teamed up with Mike, Mallory, and Nick to form the Normie Alliance. In the end, this new Normie Alliance conspired to bring about a unanimous vote off, sending Chidi home to become the first member of the jury. Ten remain. Who will be voted out tonight? I thought that tribal council went smoothly. Um, it really didn't, like, it left a lot of uncertainty. Uncertain, I cannot say that word. I'm going to try a different word. It left a lot of, like, questions, though, still, because it was everyone put it together. So it's kind of like, where are the lines drawn? They were trying to tell the old Ohanas that they should vote Chidi. So there might just be a ton of Chidi votes. But I don't really know how the Ceruleans knew we were voting Chidi. I don't remember if like I talked to Nick or who talked to Nick. I know Sam was like, how was that like unanimous? Like, why did everyone vote for Chidi? So I think the plan right now is first vote being Chidi because then that would keep both mm -hmm. sides, like the Ohana side and the six that we have going on with Mike, Mallory, and Nick, like happy. Yeah. Everything went as planned for us. Mm -hmm. It was unanimous yeah. too. So Which I feel like it's not often in a merge tribal. Yeah. So. Um, and when I was talking to people, I couldn't tell, uh, you know, like what was going on, especially since like Ohana is like very schemy. Um, <laughs> I never know what's going on. Realistically, Ohana people are smarter than really people. Like, we're thinkers more. Um, we're always thinking ahead. Who is still aligned with who? Are we still Ohana versus Cerulean? Is that kind of over because, like, Cerulean put out one of their own, even though they already were down in numbers? An interesting dream last night that all of us, six Ohana, were on this, like, cruise ship, right? And we're, like, trying to, um, escape for whatever reason. Like, we don't want to be in there anymore. So we're trying to like build this life, this like janky life raft, right? And it has um, like a leak on it. And we, we found a roll of duct tape to try to like fix it, you know, like, you know, it was Bree and Abby, you know, Maggie, Sarah, Jack and I. And we were like trying to fix it with this duct tape, but there wasn't enough duct tape to fix it. And we were just like, well, we're kind of screwed. Like, we can't escape. We're, this is just going to sink, right? This ship we're on is going to sink. And it's a um, strangely prophetic dream because Ohana is that life raft, right? We're, we're, uh, we're not going to go anywhere with, with Ohana. There is a leak. There's multiple, there are multiple leaks. All right, guys. I picked a side. I was always leaning towards it, but I'm going with Mike because my meeting with Jack and Sam went perfectly and it set up that opportunity for me. And this is the only way that's gonna differentiate myself from um, the other people that I'm going to end with. And I told Mike the whole plan and I also told him that Jack has the idol, so. Uh, Sarah told me that Jack has the idol, which I'm taking her word for. I'm like going full in, it's happening. And I really trust Mike, he's not a loud mouth. You know, it's just important to know where the idol is, if possible. Um, Cupcake is gonna meet. We're gonna get Maggie to suggest for your Abby. And Jack, Sam, and I are pretty good at kind of working with her and getting her to feel like she came up with the plan. Sorry. Um, and this is supposed to be the in crowd, right? Yeah, except not you. <laughs> is there a reason we need to do that and not just do a lana? I just. Maybe it's just because I'm more scared of Ohana people, is the thing. Really? Yeah. Like, I would rather, you know, be at the end having to win challenges against, like, Mallory and Nick, uh, rather than, like, having to win challenges against, like, Abby. And, and even Reem won. Like, I didn't, I'm, she was never, like, in my mind as a challenge stuff, but she already won this first challenge. Yeah. And no amount of duct tape is ever going to fix Ohana at this point. Ohana is done. As far as Ohana as we know it, you know, the six of us being tight. No, not a thing.
I'm not, I'm really, I'm just really, really not feeling this Normie Alliance. Um, I'm not really getting good vibes from Sarah, Jack, or Sam, and it's just not, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. I don't get what Mallory and Mike are doing, and like, yes, it's cool, it's a safety net, but like, not feeling it. I'm gonna go out of my way this week. I'm gonna talk to Abby, Bree, and Maggie, and just try to form something. I'm gonna try to get, like, Nick out, possibly. I am going to talk to them. I need to make these bonds, because eventually something's gonna have to fucking flip. He's a really sweet guy, but I just don't ever know what he's telling me is if it's truthful, who else he's telling this information to, because he's a big mouth, he's told me secrets. So I don't think Maggie has one, because at Merge, at the feast, she like, I saw her like go up to Sarah. Yeah, you like, were telling me that. They're yeah, like, she what? literally like whispered and like, like she said something, and then they both like started like feeling under the table. They like looked under the table, oh, and then I saw, I saw her like, and then they went to their codes, grabbed their phones, like turned on the camera to like record under the table oh. without like discreetly. They went over to like their stuff and grabbed their phone and like turned on the camera and like put it underneath the table. They were really discreet because until yeah. you said something to me, I was like, oh my god. Like they like they were searching. I, I don't I don't know if they actually found anything, but I know they were searching. Damn. I don't think I've heard a single person say like anything like against Jack or be like, oh, I really want Jack out, really. Yeah, um, exactly. And then I just think he like is smart enough that even if he doesn't do anything like massive and that like will put him there. Yeah. Um, I feel like Jack has connections on your side. Uh huh. But he also like tried really hard to get close with us too. So like, I feel like all of us kind of have like a semi connection with Jack. But like, I I also think that. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Cause like, but like you we know, trust wait, you. Guys. I just want to make it clear that you know he was in on the split though, right? Which split though? The one where we split it on you. Yeah. 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 He we... actually voted. Like we. I think it was me, Mike. No, it was me, Mallory, Sheedy, you voted for Sarah, him, and Mike voted. Okay. And I'm like, are they his true secrets? Are you like, I just don't ever know what he's thinking and like why he's telling me some stuff that he's told me. No matter what happens, I'm going to try to like create a group that will help me take the six out. Sarah, Jack, and Sam are too close for my comfort. Um, they have too many connections. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to do it. One other important um, facet of the game that um, I've been working through is deciding when um, we're going to kind of publicly show to the other members of Ohana that, you know, Sam, Jack, and Sarah are not working with them or at least are willing to work with us, um, being myself, Mallory, Nick, Lucy. Mike wants to get rid of, I think it's Brie, and Jack and Sam, we were saying Brie or Abby. Sam wants Brie out more, Jack wants Abby out more. Depends who wins, like if one of them wins, but I guess we have it need to be yeah. Like tonight. Yeah, Brie will post. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's true, it's true. Yeah. So I guess we need to, yeah, also we could play up, like, yeah, Brie's won immunity, so she has, yeah. like, That's true. a, like... I personally, I haven't decided yet. I feel like... If we got Abby out this week, I have less of a connection with Abby. I'm also kind of scared that she's like talking to Sam, so I would want Abby out, but then I feel like Brie would freak out because she she really thinks we're doing the like, oh, Hannah gets rid of all the Cerulean move. And she's definitely more of a strategic threat and I feel like she could, I don't know. I feel like she might start something. Um, I'm just, I'm probably more worried about Abby personally. I want Abby out, but we know Sam yeah. is closer to Abby. Sarah's getting cocky. Which might be also the reason why we want her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, her and Jack are just getting so confident. You know, as, as time's gone on, as everything's gone right for us, it just kind of seemed like we're running the show. He's been talking to a lot of people. Yeah, he's been talking to a lot of people. Yeah. And people that he, like, shouldn't be talking to. Yeah. Like, it's really weird that he has, like, he's talking to, like, Abby, talking to Bree, when, like, that's not part of, like, the six that we had. Yeah. You know? It's weird. I, just, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. So. So 
so like, he's never even been on the same tribe as Abby mm -hmm. or Maggie, and he's been talking to both of them. So I, we just don't know if we can trust him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he might be trying to play both sides, and that's the only exactly. way we can do that. <laughs> only we can do that and get away with it. <laughs> Sarah's turning more into the Ross uh, student that, um, <laughs> you know, I'm seeing her Ross colors come out a little bit more. Um, I'll just say that. I'm pretty sure Brie thinks I'm her little sidekick. So Sarah X and I were like pretty close from like the beginning. But you know what? I ain't no sidekick, okay? I'm a hero. And I was worried like after the swap that like that wouldn't be the same thing. Uh, but we met up the other day and it was just like as if the swap never happened and it seems like we're ready to work together. And I feel bad because we were really close allies at one point, but we definitely drifted apart after like week one. Like, It seems like we're still good um, and we want to try and make it to the end together. We actually have talked about pulling in Abby possibly like for our final three deal. Um, we figure she wouldn't get as many votes, um, and she's not a threat. Yeah, anyone who tries to treat me like a sidekick, you're gone. Alright, come on in guys. Alright, first things first, Bree, I'm going to Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, individual immunity is back up for grabs. For today's challenge, we're gonna have a food challenge. So here's how it's gonna work. There's gonna be two heats of five to start off. The first two to clear their plate and show us an empty mouth are gonna move on. The next Four people that move on are going to be in the semi-final. First two people from that to show us an empty mouth are going to move on to the final round. First person to show us an empty mouth in the final round is going to win individual immunity. And the final part of this challenge, you will not be able to use your hands. We'll drop for spots. Are you going to start? All right. First round, we got all Ohana members <coughs> for immunity. Survivors ready? Go! Everybody digging in right away, taking huge bites of pasta. <coughs> Jack coughing a little, eating too fast over there. Jack taking a big bite. Sarah's slowing down. Fast okay, pace at the start and everybody's slowing down. Sam is almost done. <laughs> Sarah seems to not be liking her spaghetti at this oh, point. Oh my god, the oh, this is bad. Sam cleared his plate, just waiting for an empty mouth. Maggie and Jack getting down to the scraps on theirs. Sam moves on to the next round. It's Maggie and Jack. And Bree coming in fighting. Maggie has one more thing. Maggie moving on. Oh, Damn it! Maggie and Sam moving on to the semifinals. Someone give me a shot of whiskey right now. Alright, second heat. We got every old Cerulean member and Abby, Maggie, and Sam already moving on to the semifinals. For immunity, survivors ready, go! Everybody digging in right away. In there. Where's the Stuff in his face. <laughs> Abby already struggling a little bit over there. Down. Mike working on it. Lucy. Yeah, no. Abby. <laughs> I'm really gonna throw up. Oh, I right. took one bite. <laughs> Abby came a little too full. Yeah. Nick and Mallory getting down there. Lucy and Abby falling a little bit out of it. Mike is also in it. <laughs> Abby.
Abby might be done. Mike, very close to being done. Mallory and Nick also right there. It is a three person race for two spots. Oh no, no way. Abby is out. Abby is winning. Done with the spaghetti. Mike and Mallory getting down to their last couple noodles. Nick trying to stay in it. Nick's just sucking the noodles off the plate. <laughs> Every noodle on the plate gotta be gone. Okay. Open your mouth. Yeah. Mike moving on. <laughs> Mallory moving on. Fuck this shit. <laughs> My level of self-loathing on a scale of 1 to 10 is a 15. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, first two finished. Moving on to the final round. For immunity. Survivors ready. Go! No hands. No hands. No. Mallory. Oh. Mallory. I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Mallory DQ'd for using hands. Sorry. There is so close. There is, there is a, a slight surprise of oh some God, garlic salt that. and yeah. banana I in the pancakes. <laughs> I hope those are tasting good. Oh my God, my mouth. I love garlic. garlic. <laughs> Mike going for the whole second pancake all at one time. Maggie working on it. How's the garlic hey, salt, everybody? Oh, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, second pancake in his mouth. Now we just gotta work on chewing it. Maggie, also <laughs> second pancake. Everybody working on their second. <laughs> okay. Mike finishing his second pancake, and everybody about to start their third. Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> Sam struggling to get down those salty pancakes. Oh. <laughs> Sam might have it come up. Mike. Third and final pancake. Getting tough. Who's it gonna be? Gotta dig deep. Swallow those pancakes. Mike done. Maggie still got a little bit in her mouth. Sam, <laughs> Sam almost having three pancakes come up. Maggie is moving wow. on to the final round. I got you. Working again, god damn it. There's some of that. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, final round. We got Maggie and Mike squaring off. Eight ounce block of tofu. First one to get it down, empty mouth, wins immunity this week. All right, for immunity. Survivors ready? Go! <laughs> Mike taking a little bit to even dig in there. Maggie going right for it. This one is gonna take a little bit longer. Lots of tofu. Live. <laughs> the American people love that's why. You're gonna make sure Sam getting flashbacks of tofu during the scavenger hunt. <laughs> Maybe glad he did not move on to the finals. Yeah, sure you like it. <laughs> not bad. Yeah. How we're... People are way better eating tofu. Mike working on it. Maggie looks to be a little bit in the lead right now. But Mike taking a huge <laughs> bite of tofu. I can't tell the strategy. That's okay. Maggie taking about half a block of tofu in that bite. <laughs> Mike. 
Mike's mouth dripping of moist tofu. You're gonna have to dig deep if you want safety this week. Maggie, almost done. Mike, you just do it all in one bite. You got it. You easily, you can do it, Mike. Mike might be giving up at this point, just waiting for Maggie to finish. Yes, just give up. I don't really want to dig my butt. I'm gonna do what? Throw up for it. Hmm? Mike's new strategy: wait for Maggie to throw up. See if he can get immunity that way. So I don't know. You might be missing out on the night Okay, I'm gonna watch this. Maggie probably already. Mike not even going for the tofu and Maggie is still scarfing it down. Now that like the shot is doing that. Yeah! Salt and lime. Show me how you get out. I'm going though. This is not bad. Empty mouth for the win, Maggie. Mike is not even trying at this point. It is Maggie's to lose. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> but then that guarantees I lose. She might do something here. <laughs> like the tofu. It's all over it. <laughs> Maggie wins in the food. Second food challenge or pepper time. <laughs> Anyone want this? No. <laughs> <laughs> that really was not. She said no. That was not so bad. There's no more to it. <laughs> hey, respect. I was like, I can't catch up. I don't know. Alright, Maggie, congratulations. Come and get it. Maggie, safe this week will not be voted out. As for the rest of you, one of you will join the jury this week. That's all I got for you. Grab your stuff, head on out. Good night. Just got home from the eating challenge. Uh, you know, wearing the immunity necklace. Uh, I'm gonna keep eating, because I can. <laughs> uh, got this package in the mail today from my parents. And uh, yeah, I, I thought, why not dig right in? The way she was like eating that stuff, you just like, I don't know, it was just ferocious. I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know how she did it like that. Like that tofu took me an hour to eat that much. She did it in like two minutes. So yeah, this was a big one. This was a big one for me. I'm uh, 5'4", about 130 pounds. And I just beat a frat boy at an eating challenge. So, uh, you could say I'm pretty lit. <laughs> All right, there you go, Maggie. Like, she got so excited. She, like, has been wearing her necklace around all over the place. For those of you out there, expect to see this necklace all around town this week because it's coming with me to Skeeps. I think she wore it to Jack's party the other day. It's coming with me to Rick's, and it's coming with me on St. Patrick's Day. See you out there, guys. Mm. It tastes like victory. I don't know. I just see, like, I'm getting nervous because I feel like I see a group of, like, Sarah, Sam, Jack kind of forming. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, it's in a weird spot where it's just, like, I feel like they have the ability to do whatever with anyone. Yeah, like float around.
Jack, Sarah, and Sam are just kind of like in the middle and the only ones connecting anyone at the moment. And I don't know, like for me, just seeing it from like, like as that, it just seems like, well, ja that means Jack, Sam, and Sarah can really do whatever. And then everyone else is just kind of like, oh, well, we have to listen to Jack, Sarah, and Sam because there's no other options. If anyone wants to do anything, it has to go through those, those three. Yeah, so Mike and Mallory are just like talking to me about how literally Abby, Maggie, and Bree have not talked to them at all. So good job everyone for giving Sarah, Sam, and Jack all the power and making every single decision because you guys just don't talk to each other. Love that. So, I mean, I've been very clearly working with Sarah, Sam, and Jack since essentially week one. Jack since day one, Sam since day one. Um, but I don't think a lot of people really know about that. I think Maggie is a great person in general. I think she's fun, I think she's energetic, and I'd love to be friends with her outside of the game. I just have a good relationship with Nick, so I'm just gonna keep it that way. I'm not voting with Nick this week, I don't think. But she gives off the most egotistical vibe and like mastermind vibe you can ever imagine. If anyone wants to do anything, it has to go through those, those three at the moment. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Well, is that a problem? He thinks Sarah, Sam, and Jack are all working together, and there they have the connection to both sides, but I've never been like grouped into that, and anytime someone brings that up, I'm like, yeah. Um... I think she has weird alliances. Um, I think she was at the bottom of her drive, and she's delusional that she's uh, not. But I also think she's really cocky and egotistical at, in some ways, um, so... When in reality I'm like in there. She believes when someone tells her they're close, that they're close. Um, because she's the mastermind and that's what she feels. Like that's just a vibe. If you don't get that vibe from her, I'm sorry, you're getting a different vibe than me. Or I'm just getting something wrong. So initially, uh, myself, Nick, um, Sam, Jack, Sarah, and Mallory all met up for the first time. It's kind of a big vote this week. Yeah. Um, what, either Bree or Abby? Yeah. yeah. Like, we still cool with that? Yeah. Yeah, because we got a out last time, so like, I'm on this time. <laughs> right. Yeah. And also, even just going on personalities, I mean, the only Cerulean left to choose from is Lucy. I like Lucy. So, <laughs> um, I'm not sure how much this normies thing is real because Sarah and Sam have not told me about it, um, but I don't feel like it's an issue. I feel like they just don't want me to be worried about them. So uh, I'm going to push Jack to be like, should we tell Maggie about this thing? Would there be any reason to want to bring Maggie in and tell her what we're doing and try to make up some story about why we want to go after them or is that too risky? Well, what would you tell her? I don't know, just like, Bree's been acting really sketchy lately, like, I, I don't know, just like, I feel like it's not impossible for... Oh no, I think if you can make up some yeah, story that yeah. like, kind of puts a target on someone and yeah. you can be like, oh, we can still keep like, the Ohana majority, yeah, 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 yeah. so that. Yeah. But I mean, maybe that for next week though, when she's more worried about herself. So for the week after that, so, so, so say we do go for the week after, assuming Maggie doesn't win individual immunity again, there's kind of the Abby Maggie, which kind of seems like they've both been on, like, because they're such emotional yeah. players and they're kind of, I don't know, always on yeah. sort of outs. It's funny because I feel like we go back and forth between Maggie and Abby about who's really on the outs between the two of them because I feel like right. it almost kind of alternates like at one moment It's like oh, yeah, no one talks to Abby like no one knows her It seems like every time we have we're trying to blind time somebody we tell them yeah Well, we're voting Abby and then they go home <laughs> 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 yeah, That's true that's Poor Abby. Uh, Yeah, so if someone tells you Abby Yeah, <laughs> yeah so we're going Abby <laughs> And the next one's like, Maggie's such an emotional player, like we need to, whatever, whatever. So it's it's weird knowing how they actually, how the people who are with us perceive the two of them. Because it seems like Bree's a pretty consistent, like kind of there, kind of not there. But then with Maggie and Abby, it feels like they kind of change their opinion of them every five seconds. 
Yeah. So. I'm pretty sure Maggie has a pretty close relationship with a good number of them, if not all three of them. And we have an opportunity here, because Lucy will vote with us. And, mm -hmm. and then you guys can kind of break it to Maggie and ask them, uh, like, the kind of a way where you're like, oh, we're kind of thinking this um, between those two, would you like, or like let her decide between yeah. those two and she can vote one way or the other. Okay. Or I say Abby, just so because, say Abby. Okay. yeah, because she has a better chance of having an idol than okay. he does, and if she doesn't use this, then we flush it. Let's get out Abby. It just makes the most sense. And I don't understand why I had to fight with them about it, or not even fight, it was just kind of like push for it. I shouldn't have had to push that hard. It's like a very simple. Um, I don't know. And then for your next time? Yeah. I'm done for that. Yep, that's cool. I personally am more concerned about Sam at this point in the game. Like, I see him more as winning challenges. Yeah. And I think that is prevents you from being able to be eliminated. Mm -hmm. Like, I could see him and Mike both going on a challenge streak. No, I agree. I definitely could see both of them doing it so easily. As much as I like Sam and I've had a play yeah. pin with him some years, like, I definitely think he's a really big threat, yeah. both to win that in challenges and to win this game. I agree. Yeah. I agree. He also, like, scares me a little bit because I feel like he's really good at comps. Oh, like, yeah, he is. At every single comp, I feel yeah. like he's just done really well. Yeah, yes. Yeah, he is built like a hockey player. Does he play any sports? Who? Wait, we're talking about Mike, right? Oh, I was talking about Sam. You know, I hung out with Nick for the first time last week. We were just like chilling, waiting around for a uh, meeting to start. And like, he's a cool guy, you know? But as far as like survivor goes, like I don't I don't like his vibe. He like something sketches me out about me. Bree texted me after she met with Nick. N Nick is a snake. Okay? He didn't tell her about normies, I don't think, but he did say that he thinks me, Sam, and Jack are at the top, that we are filtering information to Maggie, and that Sam is a challenge threat. And he also told Bree to vote Abby. And Brie was like, he felt he seemed like oddly safe about the vote. And I was like, I wonder like why like why? They don't have numbers. And Brie was like, yeah, Cerulean's just dumb. And I was like, eh, yeah, I guess. Apparently, so I heard that Nick and Brie were talking. And Nick saying all this stuff like, oh, I think Jack's a threat, and oh Sam is too because he's good at challenges. He kind of called out me, Jack, and Sarah for some reason to Bree, and yeah, they named me as a challenge threat. Matt. So I don't know. I guess like maybe I've been like near the end with all of them. I've only won once. I think that I'm just as much of a challenge threat as uh, Mike. Cause both of us have been in it. Like every time, you know, me and Mike were voted the strongest in that one challenge, and then we both won immunity at the balancing. And then we were both like right there in the cups, and then like we were both in like near the end of the like, eating one. So, I feel like, yeah, me, I've seen me and Mike near the end for all of them. Nick is just talking to everyone. I think he feels like he's on the bottom or um, that he doesn't have a dominant strategy in place to win. So he's been talking to everyone. All right, so basically, Sam, Jack, and honestly myself, we're getting kind of suspicious of Nick because he's like talking to everyone on Old Ohana and everything. And not only does that um, anger the alliance that I'm trying to form with Jack, Sam, and Sarah, but it also makes me a little nervous too. I'm gonna have Mike message me, Sam, and Jack and like set up a meeting like it was his idea and for him to kind of bring up the option that he was kind of between Nick and Lucy and like for him to be like, what if we brought Lucy instead? All right, so today, it's a fun time. I went to the Ross School of Business. Ross School of Business with Sarah Z and Mike. And so this way our plan would be to get Abby out this week and then Nick out, but to have Lucy in the six. And so this way we can, um, I can play both sides for a little bit longer. So I think it's important for us to kind of start talking, the vote after that, and just kind of, um, you know, see what your guys' thoughts were coming out of last night and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Totally. Mike, oh my gosh. He's, he's so like, so he's so professional, okay? Like, when we meet, 
like, it's the first time I met with him, and he goes, so I look straight in the camera, and he's like, I'm meeting here in the Ross School of Business. First day of classes after spring break. With Sarah and Sam. We are here to discuss. At long last, Jack and I were able to meet up. Our future plans for the Normie Alliance. We're here at Espresso Royale. It's really our first chance to sit down and talk. Mallory and I just kind of getting a chance to speak one on one. Sarah and Sam, you may proceed. You know, he's like so like, okay, um, cool. I don't even know. It was just funny. It was funny. I, I liked our meeting. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I don't know like Mallory and Nick that well, but mm -hmm. like, I trust, I mean, I feel like I trust you and you trust them. Right, so. Mallory, um, she's definitely learning more of the game as the week goes on, um, but I like to keep her around because I don't see her being able to truly formulate something so yeah. brilliant that like m multiple people would be like, oh yes, like, I, this is yeah. such a great idea. Um, she keeps to her word and um, generally goes with the flow, mm -hmm. which I think is an important person to have. As far as a lot future alliances forming, um, you know, I'm really trying to f continue my game with Sarah X. Um, and I'm also trying to terminate, in some ways, my game with Nick. I can imagine you guys are concerned about Nick. Um, he talks to everyone. Yeah. Um, which I get, um, and that could be a problem. Nick will hopefully go after this, um, and I'm gonna try and smooth things over with Mallory. I anticipate that she's not gonna be receptive of me saying that we want to vote Nick because that's been our plan. Sarah and I have chosen Mallory um, as our optimal person to take to the final three. So hopefully, you know, Mallory believes me. Hopefully tonight my meeting with Mallory goes well and I hope she even includes me um, in on it with Lucy. Honestly, I feel like three old Ohana would kind of jump at the opportunity to bring Lucy in instead of Nick. My thoughts basically with Lucy is like, it seems like she's already like thinks that she's in. Because I think they see her as, she's a human being more disposable perhaps than Nick. I think that they see having her in as a more, more of a security blanket vote for them. Right. If, we, if we do get down to a point where like we're in the final seven or final six, I think that they would very, they would have a lot more comfort having someone in our group that they could easily say like, oh yeah, like that's the next logical step. If we get, if we decided to, you know, replace Nick with her at some point, you just kind of tell her like, oh, now we're gonna get rid of Nick. And she'd be like, yeah. oh, okay, like. It makes more sense for the two, or it might be more of a safety net for the two of us to have Lucy in our group instead of Nick, because it doesn't really seem like either, any of the three of them have a real relationship with Lucy. No, I don't so. think so either. All right, so this normie thing. It doesn't make sense, yada yada yada. We're going to go through my notes on the situation. Here's exactly what will happen if everything somehow worked out. So they're telling us, let's split the votes on Abby and Brie this week. I believe it, I think it will happen, Abby will go home, okay? Abby goes home, it's five old Ohana, four old Cerulean, and then they said we can take out Maggie or Brie next. But, like, let's think on that. Maggie's closest ally is Sarah, or at least she said, she's told me she trusts Sarah a lot, a lot. Um, Brie is kind of close with Jack. They talk a good amount as well. And then we have Lucy, who has told them she only wants to work with the blue team. And so you, you're telling me that we're supposed to listen and actually believe that they're going to vote out Maggie or Brie when Lucy's over here being like, I don't want to work with you? Psych? No. Maybe Nick isn't even really trying to be that schemey, but at the end of the day, um, I don't have any connection with Maggie, Brie, nor Abby, um, and he does. So if they were to ever cook something up all Ohana and bring him in, mm -hmm. that's a threat to us. So. Um, I don't know. I mean, he, he's not going home tonight as far as I'm concerned, but, yeah. um, you know, I unfortunately think that our days as, you know, that Cerulean 3 are kind of numbered.
like everyone from Old Cerulean that's left, so like me, Mallory, Mike, and Nick, um, we're talking. We were saying how we wanted to get Abby or Brie out. We just felt like that kind of makes sense. Um, Abby isn't really like the strongest player and everything. Um, and we think that Brie's like pretty dangerous and stuff and she's been winning her challenges. Um, so she could probably go. Brie texted me and was like, oh hey, like do you wanna like meet up or something? I have some things to talk about. So I was like, oh sure, yeah. Um, wasn't really sure like what it would be about. That's the thing, me and Lucy have never been on a tribe together until the merge, and like we've been like pretty cordial. It's like fun having another like person to like bond with on our campus. So I approached Lucy yesterday. I have a prop proposition, proposition. I don't know what the word is. Whatever. Proposition. Yeah. Um. So you are definitely safe tomorrow. And Sarah, Abby, and I were wondering if you want to like be an alliance with us in the future and possibly like Mallory because we need like a five person alliance for like majority nine. Yeah. yeah and because we right now like it's very obvious that Jack is gonna win if it makes it to the end and so like we have to get rid of him sooner rather than later so <laughs> I didn't even think about that I never I'm not a very good strategist <laughs> like everything I think we need to get rid of Maddie. Other than that, me, Sarah, and Abby now are going to go to Jack. So that's so basically what we had was a three, three, four split. And we knew we couldn't tell Sam or Maggie about Jack because Jack would find out. And that's no good, he has an idol. And so we were like, who do we ask? We wanted to keep it as like down low as possible. So me, Sarah, Abby, we're gonna vote Jack. We know we need one more because it'd be like a three, three, four. So you're wondering if you want to do a kill in your Oh, I, I know, because I know, because I need it. Yeah. I'm also with like Mallory and stuff, so I need yeah. to talk with them, but like I really well, like, like this idea. I know, because the thing is, she's like, oh, we had this whole plan to get Jack out. I was like, I mean, obviously in the videos you can see, like I very much believed her, because like, I don't know, Ohana, like I could see it when she's like, yeah, we're just gonna like backstab him on that, because like I like Jack. Um, the one thing I was a little um, iffy about is when she said like, oh yeah, like Sarah was on board. I know Sarah, um, when I talked to her, she would say like, oh yeah, I've been talking to Jack and like things like that. And it seemed like she was pretty close with him. Oh. Mallory, uh, Mike, Nick, and me. Okay, we're gonna vote Abby. We're gonna vote Abby. And then we thought we had Jack, Sarah, and Sam, I wanna say. I think yeah. Mike talked to Jack and Sam. Okay. Um, but it seemed like a good plan, like I'm always down to get people out or whatever, so I was like thinking about if I should go in or not, um, if I was going to tell Mallory. But she was nervous because she's like, but I don't want to feel like I'm flipping on Cerulean. And then like right after Brie, um, I was going to meet up with Sarah and I didn't tell Brie that. Um, and so immediately when I sat down with Sarah and she's like, oh yeah, like what's up? I was like, oh well, I just talked to Brie and she was like, just like completely like, what? You <laughs> know, like she didn't, um. Who are you like mostly talking to? Are you? Ugh, Who are okay. you feeling? Yeah. Who am I feeling? Like everyone out on like Ohana and everything. It's like obviously like Blue's together yeah. and we're still trying to like figure out exact because we can't really tell what you guys are like. Man, this girl Lucy, this my meeting with her was a lot harder than I thought it would be because she kept asking me who I felt good about, who I was talking to, basically. She was like, who are your closest allies? Like, what am I supposed to say? My closest allies are Jack, Sam, and Mike. What is she expecting me to say? Yeah, but then I just talked to Brie right before this. What'd she say? And she Cause said, she's been say telling me stuff too. She's been saying that they're planning on voting on Jack. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. So she told me that she wanted to get, um, she's been like switching on and off between Nick and Jack this week, but she definitely is gunning for Jack either this week or mm -hmm. next week, so. Which I can understand. She's like explaining the reasons <laughs> yeah. why. Um, uh, normies um, group that I'm like not, I don't, I, I don't know about, but I do. Um, and I think it would be stupid for any of them to vote for someone in that group if they think that they're like together. So I'm pretty sure Bree just looks like an idiot this week and thinks that Sarah and Abby are voting for Jack with her. Honestly, we might have to get Bree out this week. And Lucy's flipping. Who really cares what Lucy does? Um. Hey, what's up? Abby, oh my god, okay. Ugh, how much time do you have? I don't know, like 15 minutes. 
Okay. So, holy shit, girl. Brie, okay, Brie messaged me, like, literally, like, like, a couple minutes before I texted you, and she met with Nick, and Nick was telling her that to get Abby out, and Brie was like, he was feeling, like, super safe about it, which is weird, because Cerulean only has four people, but anyways, Brie was like, do you want, like, me and you to be the swing votes and to get Abby out this week and then to get Jack out the week after that? Because for some reason, Nick told her that Jack voted for her during that swap vote and not Sarah A. But, like, oh so now Brie, like, wants Jack out, but, like, she also wants you out this week. And so, girl, we gotta get her out this week. We gotta get her out. Like, I'm pretty okay. sure we can get Sam, Jack, and Maggie to get her out, too. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, and even if it doesn't work out, like, at least, like, if you get voted out in the next weeks, like, you got voted out because you made a big move and not because you were cheating. Um, I think today will tell if they are voting Brie and Abby, and if it really comes down to, like, split votes. Um, today's gonna be really telling to see what people do, to see, um, if everyone is still on the same consensus or not. Um, and yeah, so I'm excited. I hopefully it'll be a good week for me. someone or not there are certain situations where you have to just hope you can trust them and hope that they're telling you the truth and if they're not then bad things can happen but you know it's part of the game Lucy what would you say <coughs> about people starting to make big moves there's only 10 of you left is that kind of the talk or are people just kind of still trying to lay low uh, yeah I think um, I think this week will be a big week to see who you can trust, um, who you were talking to, uh, things like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bree, do you think this week being so long from challenge to tribal is going to have any effect on this vote? Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like everyone kind of knows what they want to do, like week to week, in case they make it. They have like, they they're thinking like at least one or two steps ahead. I mean, we have to think about like jury management and stuff like that. So you need to think about like your relationships with everybody and how that kind of affects when you're going to vote people out. That <laughs> answers the question. <laughs> Jack, has there been much talk of threats emerging, like people, people's names getting thrown around that these people need to go sooner rather than later? Yeah, it's it's weird that I think this season of Survivor we've kind of like been talking about threats since like day one. Like a lot of times in like the show, like. Um, you know, they kind of get out a lot of weak people first, but kind of since day one we've been thinking about, all right, is this person a threat? Is this person a threat? Who's going to make it far? And now especially where we're at an individual stage, you know, we don't want somebody, like, just winning every individual immunity challenge and getting all the way to the end. So. And it's hard to say just by looking by somebody if they're threats to certain things. Like, who would have thought looking at Maggie that she could eat tofu so quickly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is true. <laughs> I think threats go beyond just challenges, too. I mean... I feel like it's dangerous to label somebody as not a threat because, oh, I don't think they're strategic, they're not a threat. And that's when people surprise you and, like, you get blindsided the minute you underestimate someone. So, that's where I'm just like, I feel like it's, like, kind of dangerous to box people in as, like, threats and not threats because you have no idea, like, what's really going on in people's heads. And then if you leave a non-threat onto a become a threat because there's going to be so many people left. So it's like, it's should like, you get rid of the weak, yeah. weak ones? Should you not? Well, should you all the way to final three and it's yeah. like, and these two people pissed me off when you vote that one, so it's like, you know. <laughs> Mallory, would you say people are underestimated this game, seems not threats, just kind of skating by, or is everybody left a threat in this game? I think it's funny though, we've described this game, I mean, if 
Speaking of human beings, I'm very disposable. And yes, let's eliminate the weak one. <laughs> <laughs> so, remembering the dignity of the human person, it's also a good thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I think everyone's being constantly estimated, but I like to think that the average of every estimation will get you closer and closer to the true value. I'm feeling really deep. She's like great. She's a threat. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's hard to know if your expectations are being met because I feel like a certain amount of playing this game well is not having expectations in a certain way. So, so like I was saying, there's been some talk of maybe physical threats and challenges, but are there definite social threats also in the game? I think so. Um, I think the more people you talk to, the more you know problems you could potentially run into. Just because people are talking, um, people can potentially be scared of that. I feel like it's the other way around. I feel like I'm more threatened by the people who aren't talking to anyone because you don't know like who are they. Like if you're talking to everyone, it's like you're a little scared. But if you're not talking to anyone, that's when that's when you're a threat to me. All right, and on that, Maggie, you keeping that this week? Oh, yeah. All right, then on that note, it is time to vote. Nick, go. Like Maggie said, you're a threat because you don't talk to me. Hopefully I'm not the one getting blindsided tonight and this is going to be a really big mistake or a really big move, so. I'll go tally the votes. Next week on Survivor Mission. The blind side of Bree sends Nick into a fury. I just got blindsided by literally everyone. And with only a day between the challenge and the next tribal, panic begins to set in. I am actually about to throw up. Well, that sucks. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you play hard. I schemed and fought too much. Um, it's probably for the best, though, I mean... Bree, I know your favorite player in Survivor history is Ozzy, so I'm very happy to tell you that you, will, you and Ozzy now share one thing in common. Neither of you will ever win Survivor. 
I'm so sorry, girl, but this is the best move for my game. And I'm really sorry our alliance was not as breezy as you thought it was. They saw me as a threat, which I guess is like a compliment. I'm not mad about it. Um, I'm excited to see who makes it all the way to the end. Bree, I am fed up with your antics. Sorry for being cheesy.